let's quickly discuss what the tea patterns are and why you should be including them in your pattern portfolio. Ditzy patterns are characterized by their dense arrangement of tiny motifs or elements, often in a repeating pattern. Those motifs can be floral, geometric, abstract, or any other small design element. The term ditzy originates from the word ditz, which means a foolish or a scatterbrained person. In the context of patterns, ditzy refers to the whimsical and uh, playful nature of these designs. They have gained popularity in various fields, including fashion, interior design, and graphic design. Including ditzy patterns in your pattern portfolio can be a good idea, especially if you have created or worked with ditzy patterns before, or if you want to showcase your versatility as a designer. Some clients specifically look for artists who can create ditzy repeat patterns. So if those align with your personal style or the target market that you are aiming for, including them in your portfolio can be really beneficial. Ditzy patterns can be delicate and charming. They can help you add a touch of femininity and uh, playfulness to your designs. The small scale flowers, in case you're doing floral ditzies, can evoke a sense of nostalgia and uh, romanticism. They can also help you introduce playfulness and whimsy. For example, by introducing fun motifs, some tiny flowers and blooms, stars, dots, or some abstract shapes. Some motifs can inject a sense of joy and lightness into your design. So ditzy patterns are kind of popular for children's clothing, for example, but also for accessories and playful fashion styles. Next comes their versatility. Ditzy patterns are incredibly versatile and can be used in a wide range of design contexts. It doesn't necessarily all have to be about florals. You can pick uh, virtually any theme you wish. For example, here I designed this baking inspired ditzy for kitchen decor. The next characteristic is their timelessness. Ditzy patterns have stood the test of time and uh, have been popular in fashion and design for many decades. Their timeless appeal ensures that they remain a classic choice. If you don't want them to look a little bit too dated, you can certainly draw something a bit more graphic in form. Next, they are your best ally if you need to hide any imperfections. Their busy nature helps to distract the eye and minimize the visibility of flaws. They are incredibly practical because they can really help you hide your repeat uh, very efficiently. And finally, they are eye-catching but not overwhelming. Ditzy patterns have a captivating quality without overwhelming the viewer. Their small scale and scattered arrangement allow them to be visually interesting without dominating the entire design or outfit. Now, let's have a look at amazing ditzy designs by fellow pattern designers. All images are presented with the artist's permission. First, I would like to introduce you to Caro. This is such an interesting pattern. She's a very talented artist. This particular example goes outside of the standard ditzy floral motif. She was inspired by tea, some mindful and relaxing moments. And this proves that you can draw virtually anything as a ditzy pattern, whatever currently inspires you. It doesn't have to be 100% botanical. It can be simply a relaxing evening tea. This is what Caro says about ditzy patterns. What I love about Ditsy Repeats is that the pattern looks more organic and flowy because the elements are in different positions and orientations. The advantage is that you will have a non-directional pattern and the freedom to use it in any surface you want. I make this type of repeat very often. I totally agree with Caro here that Ditsy patterns are, you know, they give you this sort of creative freedom. There is no grid or there is no shape that you have to stick to. Just like she says, you can create something organic and flowy. And with that regard, I think that ditzy patterns can really foster your creativity and spontaneity. Next is Lucia or Lucia. I actually hope we will meet one day in person because uh, Lucia is also based in Germany. This pattern is such a classic and such eye-catching floral ditzy. You might think that you see too many of those on the social media, for example, but this particular pattern really does draw your attention. 
Lucia here is really good at managing the apparent chaos and she translates it into a beautifully intricate ditzy composition. I found her patterns through her challenge, 30 flowers in my style. It's one of the nicest uh, surface pattern related um, Instagram challenges out there, so I really recommend that you check her out. And this is what she says about creating ditzy patterns. It's always fun and interesting to create ditzy prints. I love to create very intricate ditzies like this one, where the eye is invited to wander around the pattern and discover new little details each time. This is really true, depending on the complexity of your ditzy pattern, for example this one is quite complex, you can discover new details every time you look at it. Next is Cardi, her patterns are really magical, they are full of lunar and solar elements and her color palettes are a real eye candy. This pattern for example is so whimsical and it's full of witchy motives which are one of my favorite motives. <laughs> so that's another great example that you don't have to go just with botanical motives at all. You can tackle any topic that interests you currently or any theme that you might need for your pattern portfolio. And this is what Cardi says about creating ditzy patterns. I love ditzy patterns as I enjoy creating lots of little eye-catching icons to hopefully add lots of areas of interest to my patterns. I always enjoy discovering something new when I'm looking at a pattern. You can see that this statement is aligned with what uh, Lucia was uh, telling us previously. Ditzy patterns have a huge potential to add a lot of interest. It all depends on how many assets you create to build a pattern out of it. The more complex you make it, the more exciting it gets. Next we have Lea. I'm a really big fan of her art, which is so playful and cheerful. And in me personally, it evokes a feeling of nostalgia with a modern twist. She also is particularly talented when it comes to putting together beautiful color palettes. And this is what she says about ditzy patterns. I love ditzy patterns because I feel so much more carefree when making them compared to more complex designs. It's also nice to have simpler and smaller designs when quilting and sewing smaller projects. Plus, they can be versatile and have a high visual impact because they are more simple and random. Yeah, so you see, she also agrees that uh, they give you much more creative freedom. She describes the process of creating uh, such patterns as carefree. So I also think that including ditzy patterns in your portfolio can make your work simply more fun. And finally, we have Anna, whose uh, pattern portfolio really, really, really shines. So you may want to check out her social media. I wanted to show you this beautifully balanced botanical pattern with animal motives. We've seen, of course, a lot of botanical elements, but there aren't so many uh, motives with animals. And there's really so much that you can explore in this area. You can draw birds or pets or animals inspired by a certain region. I think that Anna does a really great job of including uh, those motives in her pattern portfolio instead of just uh, sticking to flowers. And this is what she says about ditzy patterns. I enjoy creating colorful ditzy patterns with lots of detailed elements and a unique flow to the repeat. Ditzy designs are quite versatile and work very well on apparel or home decor surfaces. They are also lots of fun to work on. See, we again have a few repetitions here. One word that keeps, uh, I think I'm also repeating it quite a lot, is versatile and versatility. And other artists can really confirm that. And another frequently repeated word is fun. <laughs> I would like to thank all the artists uh, who gave me the permission to showcase their art in my course. I am warmly inviting you to pause for a second and uh, to go and check out their portfolios. Now, after this warm-up into ditzy patterns, we are ready to move to discussing what is a half-drop repeat and why you should be using it in your portfolio. Okay. 